best PS2 games that are still being played as of right now and probably the most fun in the PS2 era. Now this is mostly, well not mostly, but some are based on my opinion because they are good, they are fun and you should definitely play it till this day because I know you will enjoy it a lot. Now let's get the video started. Of course, first we have Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Cage 2 FM is super popular due to its engaging blend of action RPG gameplay, beloved Disney characters, and the intricate storytelling that combines elements from both Disney and Final Fantasy series. The game features improved mechanics over its predecessor including enhanced combat, new abilities, and additional content like new bosses and cutscenes, which enrich the experience. The captivating world design allows players to explore iconic Disney locations while interacting with memorable characters. Its emotional depth and character development resonate with fans, creating a strong connection to the story. Additionally, the game's music and nostalgic references appeal to both new players and longtime fans. And man, you cannot deny that this game's combat is just on another level, especially on the PS2 era. And till this day, I think. Nobody can beat Kingdom Hearts 2 combat. Nobody. And that is why it is super addicting and man, it is super, super fun. Another game that's being played till this day is of course GTA San Andreas. From the rich storytelling and immersive gameplay, the game setting, inspired by California, offers diverse environments to explore, from urban areas to countryside. Its deep narrative featuring themes of crime, loyalty, and family resonates with players, while memorable characters adapt to the experience. The extensive customization, options for characters and vehicles, along with numerous side missions and activities, provide endless replayability. Additionally, a strong modding community has kept the game fresh by introducing new content, enhancing graphics, and expanding gameplay, ensuring it continues to attract both old fans and new players alike. So, yeah, I mean, if you still love PS2, man, go get this game and play it. Um, very lively modding community, which is always, always nice. You tired? I got with them motherfuckers, though. Sold them niggas who's gangster. Ride a nigga. So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Well, I think this is my personal pick. Is It is FIFA Street 2. And well, this game is just pure fun. Man, I really wish EA can make games like this, man. Not some gacha loot box bullshit from, I don't know, football, man. This is how sport games should be. Alright? The arcade style gameplay that emphasizes skill moves and tricks allowing players to showcase their creativity on the pitch. The game features a vibrant and stylish presentation with customizable teams and players making it feel fresh and engaging. The street soccer environments add a unique flair while various game modes including tournaments and mini games provide diverse challenges. The ability to perform flashy tricks and combos creates an exhilarating experience and player with friends in multiplayer mode enhances the competitive and social aspects, making it a memorable entry in the FIFA series and of course a memorable game in the PS2 era. Well, game that is still being played is of course Resident Evil 4. Man, if you see, if you type Resident Evil 4, you will see so many lists of people are still making content in this game, like reviewing it, revisiting it, because the game is just pure fun, it's pure nostalgic, and it's just memorable from their childhood. And if the game is not good, People will not be playing this game and revisiting it again in 2024. So the game is just richly detailed and very very immersive with super high tension 
While a mix of action, puzzle solving, and resource management provides a well-rounded experience, and memorable characters like Leon and Ashley, well, you know, Ashley is very memorable because she is stupid as hell. Um, <laughs> okay, but they, they all enhances the story, and of course the game's replayability through unlockable modes and challenges encourages players to revisit it again for a fresh experience. Jack 3 or you know just Jack and Dexter just go play this game this game is a classic from Naughty Dog and yeah not not the Last of Us part 2 okay don't touch that shit this this is the real shit those are fake shits okay with that being said Jack 3 is the third installment of Jack and Dexter series released in the PlayStation 2 in 2004 the game continues the story of Jack and his companion Dexter as they navigate a dystopian world filled with conflicts and new challenges. The gameplay features a blend of platforming, combat, and vehicle mechanics, including the ability to drive various vehicles across the expansive landscape. Jack also gains new powers, including the ability to transform into Dark Jack, granting him enhanced abilities. <laughs> yeah, that's how you say it. The game is praised for its engaging story, improved graphics, and dynamic gameplay, offering a mix of action, exploration, and a humor that defines the series. So this game is still fun. That's it. Okay? Play it. We'll fall in love with Jack and Dexter. Ah, the memorable game in the PS2 era where, you know, people are very, very tough. Not like soft soy boy in the internet, okay, with the broccoli degenerate hair. So, yeah, Bully. <laughs> Bully is an open world action adventure game developed by Rockstar Games. Yes, of course, this is made by the same developer who made GTA, GTA 5, 6, whatever it is. And it was released for the PlayStation in 2006. Set in a fictional Bullward Academy, the game follows 15-year-old Jimmy Hopkins, a rebellious student, navigating the social hierarchy of the school. Players engage in various activities, from attending classes to fighting bullies, pranking other students, and completing missions. And of course, with, um, you know, and of course, some gameplay with the ladies, if you know what I mean. The game blends elements of humor, teenage drama, and offering a unique take on school life. Its open world design allows players to freely explore the academy and surrounding areas, interact with different NPCs, and build relationships, all while balancing academic life and mischief. And yeah, this game is just pure, pure fun. Much better. <laughs> Sonic Riders, man, if you don't know this game, this game still has a very competitive player base. Okay, so the game emphasizes speed and trick based gameplay with players using air as fuel to perform stunts, boost, and navigate through dynamic high speed courses. So if you don't know how to use the stunts, you cannot be fast in this game. So you gotta do stunts to be fast in this game. And that is where the competitive side of this game is. So, Sonic Riders includes the various game modes such as story mode, time trials, and multiplayer races. It stands out for its unique mix uh, of fast-paced racing, character abilities, and a focus on maintaining air balance to maximize performance. So, if you haven't tried this game, try it out, and you know what I'm talking about if I say that this game is very competitive. And it is very challenging. I, sh I kid you not, this is this game is very challenging. It's not some Mario Kart bullshit, alright? So try this game out, and I know you will have a lot of fun. And of course, it is super satisfying to play this game. Yeah. 
Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers. You cannot deny that this is probably one of the best Tom and Jerry games that have been made. Well, Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers is a 3D fighting game and it's a classic. The game allows players to choose from various characters like Tom, Jerry, Spike, and others as they engage in comical, over-the-top brawls. Each character has unique moves, of course like special abilities, like ultimate abilities, and the game's arenas are highly interactive. As you can see from the video alone, there's waves and whatnot. Some stages are gonna have some earthquake or lava and whatnot, man. It is just so much fun. Each character has unique moves and allowing players to use objects like chairs, bombs, and even pies as weapons. Man, it was it was just fun. It was just good time, man, back then. And the slapstick humor and chaotic battles captures the spirit of the cartoon, offering both single player and multiplayer modes for added fun. Ah, uh, I remember playing this game when I was in like middle school and I was just getting getting beaten up by my older cousins. For me, it is one of the best PS2 games that has been ever made. So yeah, go and try it out. There's nothing like it and have fun. Berserk ready! Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I mean, if you guys don't play this game, there will not be a remastered version of this game, right? So, I mean, that explains. Digimon Rumble Arena 2. Come on, man. Who doesn't play this game when you were a kid or, you know, you're an adult? This game is just, I don't know. I don't know what's the good word for it, man. I've been saying it again and again. It is just pure fun. Okay, so the gameplay is similar to other arena style fighters where players control Digimon in 3D arenas and fight against each other using a combination of melee attacks special moves and digivolutions, which allow your Digimon to temporarily evolve into stronger forms. The game includes multiplayer modes for up to 4 players and a variety of stages with interactive elements offering fast-paced competitive experience. Yes, you heard me right. Back then in the PS2 era, you can play this play, I mean play any games up to 4 players if the game supports it. Even Tom and Jerry, War of the Whiskers, you can play that up to 4 players. It was it was a hectic fun. Iron fist. Gallant charge. Lightning. Not on my Digivolve 2. Let's him on. Let's him on Digivolve 2. Angry woman. Heaven raised. Angry woman takes the lead. Of course, in this game, we have Crash Tag Team Racing. Again, if you 
guys don't play it there will not be a remastered version of this game and yeah people are still playing this game till this day so let me explain a little bit about crash tag team racing it features the unique clashing mechanic where players can merge two vehicles mid race with one player driving and the other one controlling you know like a turret to shoot um to shoot your opponents along with traditional racing players can explore the hub world unlocking new tracks and items through platforming challenges it was just fun like best of both worlds like right that's how you say it so the game includes a story mode multiplayer and features classic crash bandicoot humor and with distinct characters vehicles and weapons adding a variety to the gameplay so yeah go try this game out you will have a lot of fun playing with your friends cousins you know little bros little sis big bro big sis uh, i don't know man step sis The last Mato of the least in this list is Battle Stadium Dawn. Dawn stands for Dragon Ball, One Piece, and Naruto. That's it. <laughs> uh, this is this game is like Super Smash Bros. And this is probably the best like jump versus fighting games of all time. I kid you not. I mean nowadays jump versus is very cool. You know, it's flashy, all the graphics and whatnot. But the substance is not there. But this one, the substance, the graphics, the you know the the gameplay it's there so I, I don't think i need to explain this uh to you guys because this is very similar to super smash bros you can play this game up to four people in the ps2 era a lot of different various characters uh, you can use special moves like in the video right now you can use you know unique attack skills and whatnot and you gain this kind of orb thingy when you hit an enemy and then your bar will go bigger and then that's where you can knock off your um, your enemy so yeah super cool super cool if you haven't tried this game out i definitely encourage you to try this game out because this game is hella fun the gameplay is impactful and the combos are insanely good animations are good too god damn all right i think that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys again on the next one bye guys Oh, <laughs>